I got a haircut. That's what he does in the mornings while I'm here working. <laughs> <laughs> you believe that? Yeah, and I'll tell you what happened. I got in a big conversation with Joe over there on cars because he didn't think my Ford truck had 400 pounds of torque. Roger won V6. his argument. Yeah, he said, I've been lucky if it has two. Well, the EcoBoost has 420 pounds of torque. There, do you all care? <laughs> I heard a lengthy story of that already, <laughs> and I didn't either. Well, you know, people don't even care what we do in this show. We, do we, this, <laughs> have we ever had anybody come in here and say, I want to buy that fry pan that was yes. on last week? Yes. Well, not very often. You should work in here sometime. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> <But I'm sorry. laughs> so anyway, here's my story. I found this old fry pan in the bottom of my cupboard, and I thought, and it was all rusty and cruddy and terrible. So I took and steel wooled it all out, real nice steel wooled the backside. And then what you do is you put a thin coat of olive oil. I used olive oil. I suppose you could use some fish oil or something, whatever they use, salad oil. And I like that. Then you put it in your oven upside down with a little uh, foil in the lower rack because it's going to drip. Turn the Turn the oven on at 450 degrees for about an hour to hour and a half, and it bakes this back on your cast iron skillet. So you got a nice cast iron skillet, and we sell them here too. These Not are, that brand, and ours no. aren't rusty. These are already treated, aren't These they? These are already treated, but okay. you want to you'd want to treat it again. And if you do, if you got an old one at home, clean it up with steel wool and stuff. And if you have to use soap, go ahead that, for that one time. But after that, don't use any soap on it. Just rinse it off with water, put a little olive oil on it again after you get done using it, and it'll stay real nice. But uh, and the large fry pans that we have in the store here are made in Minneapolis. No, no. they're made in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Darn. Arctic. Uh, uh, Nordic wears me. Nordic wear in Minneapolis. Minneapolis, yeah. I told somebody so, the other day it was a sorry. I wasn't lying intentionally. Well, it was cl it was in the United States yeah. anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We've and got we've got ten different ten different sizes. And I'm standing here showing you a product that we sell that I actually started using. We've got these cool little towels that are e cloths, and they are really super absorbent. And so I wanted to show, well, and they come in just two colors. We've got red or green. But I wanted to show the cool uh, hand warmer mugs, and I've got the left-handed one. How about this here? Here, this is the new color right now called Poppy. And that's the new color yeah. called Poppy. So look how Poppy. good they seal. I mean, that's, that's really sealed. Look how good they seal. I'm obviously <laughs> a little afraid because I've got a glass thing. He's got a bowl. Poppy wine stopper. These are really slick. We, we've got these in a lot of different colors too. But, but the is, idea is that you don't have to use saran wrap on a bowl. Yeah, or, or try to use some old. Uh, the bowl is also. Uh, tin, tin foil. You try to put tin foil on a bowl. And I know we've talked about bowls before, but these are also Charles Vianson. Yeah. And they only come in the one size. I wish you'd hurry up and get some more sizes. Are you going to show a couple more sizes of your lids or no? Yeah, I did. I just picked them up and yeah, we got all. We got it. We have every size that they make. Okay, so. six inch, eight inch, inch nine, nine inch, 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 eleven inch, four inch. Yeah. No, I forgot what these are. They don't make four any inch. difference. That's they cover little bowls I or glasses or something. I thought you were going to talk about the, your swell. I did. We have these swell bottles in the store, and I bought one last week because I'm going to Texas next week, and I need more than just my Turvis tumbler water bottle. I thought. Okay, I'll break by down the way, and buy one have, of these. Who have you got working for you, by the way? You. He's, he's going to be working. Come on and see, Roger. Keep him busy. You can write on these water bottles. They are an insulated water bottle. They're aluminum. You said that it got so hot that, that you... No, they're you, stainless steel. Yeah, stainless steel. You said aluminum again, didn't you? I did. That's why I wanted to hurry up and correct it. <laughs> okay, but I didn't have an ice cube that fit in it because I only had artificial ice cubes. So I just ran cold water and put it and went shopping. And my car was hot when I came out. And I actually had some left in it the next day. And it was still kind of cool the next day. And that's without ice. They keep it cold 24 hours. 
if you put ice in it. We're and winding. I didn't have any ice. We're winding, I okay. scarecrow. I need one of these. Dang deer well, came, at eight, came eight in this morning and needed one. Keep no. the birds out of her garden because she doesn't feed her birds. So All right, we didn't even it. get time to talk about our Vitamix either. So. Okay, come yeah. on in the store and see our Vitamix. Uh, it's Diane and Roger back here at the station, station. downtown Frazee. I'm Roger.